Hey guys. Ooh, it's dinner time. <laughs> yeah, we went to the market this morning, bought those giant uh, freshwater prawns is what they ended up being. I looked them up. They're not mini lobsters like the lady <laughs> sold me on, but they looked like they were mini lobsters. I was but, so excited to eat lobsters today. <laughs> but they're, they're uh, freshwater prawns. They got those big long claws on them. And I, I went online and researched a little bit. I come up with something. I'm going to try to prepare them. I'm thinking about grilling them, but I don't know. I, I hate to dry them out on a grill. They look so delicious. So I come up with something here. I'll let, I'm going to share a real quick version of what I'm doing with these big freshwater prawns. All right. <laughs> So here, let me get them out of here. Let me show you these animals. Oh my gosh. These guys are trying to climb out. They look they're, scary. They're look. trying to climb out of here. They look scary. Yeah. So you can actually eat these legs, almost like little snow crab legs. You bust them. I saw them online taking the choppies and pull the meat right out of here. So we'll be doing that too. It's my first time, so you know, bear with me. We'll see what happens. But let's start with this bad boy right here. He's hanging out. He must be ready to go. <laughs> Look at that. Look oh at goodness. this guy. Yeah, that's He's huge. like, hello, my honey. <laughs> hello, my baby. Hello, my ragtime gal. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's see what we can do with this guy. I'm going to cut him all up. It says you should uh, take your shears, and I'm going to trim these legs off. Trim all these legs right off. That's what they did. You know, get these off, including these big blue claws. Let's see how this works. It works. We're going to trim all these right off. Then they went right across the front and got these big horns off the front because that would damage you, these big horns, and they're going to leave the head on here. So I'm going to do one like I saw was done, discard all this stuff. We're going to keep these for later. I'm going to get the meat out of those in a minute. We're going to get rid of all these little legs. Never seen a shrimp with big old giant claws like this before, man. They got some pinchers. Um, freshwater prawn. So here's what we got. So now we're going to take and peel, the, peel this uh, shell right off of here. That's the way you keep the head on it. We're going to peel it right off. And get the legs off here with it. A little bit harder than it looks. Let me get the scissors involved here a little bit. There we go. A little membrane there. It's kind of tough. But yeah, this is a big old meaty, meaty shrimp, man. Here we go. I just don't want to break it. I don't want to mess this up. Yeah, let's get all these shells off of this thing. It's kind of sharp. Yeah, the can. edges, too. Yeah, we're going to get it all the way down to the tail. We're going to leave the tail on because they, they did this pretty little uh, technique with it. Just like this. There we go. Pretty cool looking. We're going to leave that tail on it. Now we peel the body. See how this comes off? This body shell. We're going to take that off there too. Because all this head meat in here is edible. We're going to leave, it on, we're going to leave the face on there. No big deal. I'm going to leave that on there. I'm going to take this little hard membrane, this little shell off of there. I'm even going to leave these eyeballs. No, Why not? No, no. Yeah, I'm going to leave them. We're going to cook those eyeballs. There we go. So that's what you do with that. Just like that. Next step, and I'm not going to bore you with the other four. We got five of these. You're supposed to, to take the brain. Never mind. Mercy's in a hurry for me to get the brain out of this thing. <laughs> anyway, get you a nice sharp knife, and I think this one might be sharp enough. I'm going to do it this way. Now you're going to devein it. So we're going to run, I'm going to run this uh, right down the back. It's sharp, but it's not as sharp as I'd like it to be. I should have sharpened it up beforehand. We're gonna... There's one better sharp right here, puppy. Oh, I have one more piece here I didn't get off. It's in my way. There we go. And then we're going to get inside here. Oh yeah, this one's a little sharper, right? Mm -hmm. We'll get inside of here. Get this poop vein out. There's not much in this one. Pretty, yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Not too bad. Too bad of a poop vein in this one. 
Yeah. Very good. But anyway, the gentleman went all the way through this thing. Right here, where the knife comes out the bottom. Because he, he made this little trick. And then there is a brain or something up in here he dug out. I'm going to dig in there and see if I can find it. I don't know if it's a brain or what. But something there's, something, yeah. there's something in there you don't want. Yeah. Here it comes. See if I can do, get it without stirring it all up too bad. Yeah, I think I just mushed it all up. Oh, here it comes. You want that out of there. Right there. All that gunk out of the head. You don't need all that. So that comes out. So once you get that out of the head, you're clean. You're ready to go. That little yellow stuff don't matter. That's pretty good. All right, so then he took this pointy part of the tail, the stabber, Ow! And it got me too. And, it, and you twist that off of there like that. Then you took he took this part right here, and we're gonna tuck it in that hole I made. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Right up in here. Maybe I didn't make a big enough hole. Hold on. I don't think I made a big enough hole for it. There it comes. Now take that tail. It's a pretty neat little little thing. He stuck it up in here and pulled it out the other side. It's like so. There we go. Just like this. So it's like a little lobster tail, the way it looked. Just like that. That's the finished product, folks. Look at all that meat right there. And once you get underneath these, used to be where this these legs were, there's a lot of meat inside of this, too. I guess that's part of this type of shrimp. Do you wash shrimp. it or just cook it right there? Yeah, we can rinse it off. But this is the final product. So I'm going to do a bunch more of these, then I'll show you what I'm going to do with them in the pan. Kind of weird, huh? Mm -hmm. Hey, where'd all my fans go and stuff? Uh, can you remove the head? I don't... No, we're cooking that bad boy. All right, there we go. That's it. That's it. All right, I figured out how these things break up, so I'm going to smash one up for you. I wish I had a bigger knife. I wish I had a bigger knife, you know, because this is it. But I'm going to go ahead and smack it a few times. Crack that shell. Ooh, I smashed the shit out of that one. All right, that, that's how you do it anyway. Then you just take that big knife if you got one and you cut off these little pieces and you at the joint where these things move you got to pull the meat out of there be careful these are sharp too let me let me tape it this way papa well you take it whatever way you want honey yeah, here's the meat see. coming out see get rid of the shell and then that meat comes out of these legs just like that There's a little piece in there like in a snow crab leg, a little piece of uh, cartilage. You pull that out too. But you end up getting these little pieces of probably really delicious crab leg meat out of these little blue legs. Hmm. I'll just throw it in there with the shrimp. I'll pick the rest of these out. Look, they just fall right out if you crack them up good enough. But yeah, I didn't cut the joint on this one. And that's why it's, it's hanging in there. Cut the joint. That way it comes out. There's that little cartilagey piece in there too that's kind of stuck in there with it. There it is. Got to get that out of there. I guess you could spit it out later if you didn't get it all. Uh, but yeah, it's better if you can find it and get it out of there. Yeah, just these little uh, little pieces of crab leg. Really neat. That's a lot of meat. Yeah, there's some meat in them. I thought there would be less meat in there than that, but now yeah, here they are. They're falling apart, coming out like a little worm. They're hanging on to these little joints, though. That's the thing. I'm gonna crack this one a little better. There we go, so I can cut through it. 
Oh, there was one way to do it. And then you just hold on to it and make sure you get that little piece of cartilage. And all that shell. Probably smashing it up a little bit more than I should. Oh, there was a big piece of cartilage I could have missed. It's a nice little piece right there. You definitely don't want to just throw those legs away. If you get these freshwater prawns, don't don't throw those big legs away. There's meat in them. Lots of it. Yeah. A couple little bites. There you go. Let me see what's in this pincher. I never got one out of the pincher yet. Two pinchers here. Oh, I smashed the crap out of it. Let's see what happens. I'll smash that one a little bit. I'd like to be able to pull that right out of that pincher and get into that claw. I don't think it's going to work. I'm going to have to break it down here too. go. What do you know? Oh, there's a big old piece of cartilage in there. Yeah, it's a big piece. It's alright though. Oh, well, look, I got the pincher meat out. It's like a fork. Yeah. Check it out. <laughs> yeah. There we go. It came out good. It came out in little pieces, but I, I got it. Alright, so this is going to be tasty. I'm going to saute that up with my big old shrimp tails and be good little morsels. Don't waste those legs. Don't waste these blue legs. The secret is the side of the knife. My knife wasn't so light. That way it doesn't chop it. But yeah, that one, this one's coming out much better. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. That's a big piece. That's almost like my pinky. That's mine. About half. My pinky. Your pinky. That's right. <laughs> And they are sharp. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, they are sharp right here. You can tell. Yeah, let me see if I gotta break this one off or something. Oh, here we go. Pull it out like that and get that cartilage out of there oh, that way. Oh, That's yeah, the okay. secret. Oh, gently pull. Ah, oh, broke it. I think I broke that big long one off in there. Oh well. Mm. Pretty good. That's a little piece of little shell. Mm. All right. Alrighty. So. Hachu! Oh no! <laughs> yeah, <I can't> <laughs> <laughs> All right. On to the next one. We won't bore you with the rest of these. Yeah, uh, just do it, and then me. I'll be a little faster on those. I'm sure that was my first freshwater prom uh, dissection. <laughs> Good job, though. Yeah, not bad. You're next. You're next, buddy. See ya. You're next. He's got some big old arms on him. Oh, Check wow. him out. Yeah. Whoa, it's like Popeye. He's got big forearms. <laughs> all right, everybody, so here we go. We got these shrimp all done up here, laid up in this little uh, deal. I got my crab leg meat underneath. Looks like earthworms. Uh, and then I've got this paste. We went to this little Korean store because I was looking online and some recipes and some Thai recipes. I didn't have any access to any Thai uh, ingredients but I found this Korean chili paste, uh, soybean paste with chili in it. And uh, I got a little mixture of that going here with this bowl and some water. And then it smells pretty good and it actually tastes pretty good. I'm gonna get a fork because it's kind of clumpy. I'm gonna get that all broken up in there. But it's got a, got a good flavor, it's got a good flavor to it. I think it's gonna make a good sauce for this shrimp. So first things first, I diced up some garlic, I diced up some ginger, I got some red onion finely diced up. I'm going to saute all that up in this coconut oil right here. Get the oil hot, it won't take long with this gas. Got me a big old wok. <laughs> Thanks. To make this courtesy happen. of our a neighbor. Yeah, courtesy <laughs> of my neighbor. We didn't have to buy one. It's a nice big one. Got a oh, big yeah. lid for it. Yeah. But yeah, once this coconut oil gets going, let me get my uh, utensil going here. Should have a nice metal one, but I don't. I'm gonna use this spoon right here. It should be okay. I'm actually gonna put a little more of this uh, chili paste in here because I think remember I, your I might need a little more sauce. Remember, your wife don't eat very spicy. Yeah, it's not that spicy. And then I've got this oyster sauce, which I'm gonna add to it as well at the end, so that might help. Uh, create some more sauce, but here this stuff's smoking. I'm gonna oh, turn the heat down yeah. a little bit. Turn it down, puppy. So we got it going nice. I'm gonna burn these ingredients. 
Let me get this going here. No clumps in this sauce. Yeah, I think I'm going to put a little more of that in here. That's okay. Just turn it off. Here we go. So I'm going to put a little more of this paste. That's about as much as I put in here earlier. I'm going to put a little more. I think that ought to do it. I'm going to make plenty of sauce. I'll add some more water in this too. That has a pretty good flavor. Soak up in there. Oh, that thickened it up really nice. Look. Got a, that's whatever that bean curd stuff is. Somebody who knows what that is in the comments, let me know. I, it's not not one word of English on that. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'm not Took a chance those. buying it. There was a red one with pictures of chili peppers on it that I knew Mercy wasn't going to eat. No, so we got the green one. It still has some chilies on it, and it, it, it's a little spicy still. Still has a little spice to it. But it has a good flavor. I think it's going to uh, meld well with this uh, big shrimp. All right, let's get this stuff on the heat. Let's get the heat back on it. There it goes. A little sizzle going. You don't want to burn this stuff. This ought to be pretty quick, guys. I've never done this before. We get a good shape, too. But I'm going to uh, I'm give this a shot. I wish I had some white wine. I'd probably throw some white wine. I think you got red, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I don't want red. Not for this. You I can go to the store. Yeah, I think we'll be okay without it. I'd, it might be a nice addition to a little dash of white, white wine in here. Mm. But yeah, we're going to... That's sizzling up really nice. You know, something I didn't do that I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to salt and pepper this uh, shrimp nicely here. Oh, I lost my salt. No, puppy, it's behind you. Behind oh, you. Here it is. I'm sorry, I took it before, earlier. All right, so I'm going to take this shrimp. My repurposed water jug. Thanks, Marcos, for the idea. <laughs> That's Johnny's. I'm sorry. Janice did that. Okay. So yeah, that's good. We're good there. We're going to sauce this up, salt this up a little bit. We turn it over a little bit. Get underneath. And we'll put some pepper on it too. I don't, I don't want to use this pepper grinder because your fingers are all shrimpied up. I guess we're just going to have to do it and That's wash okay. it I off. Get, yeah, I can clean it up. All right, there we go. That stuff's still doing good. It's not burning over there. Put some cracked black pepper. Turn this shrimp over. Get it all over. There we go. Put the salt underneath. All right, this stuff's starting to brown, so I'm going to stir it up. Just don't want to burn it, that's all. There we go. What a smell. Mm, that, that garlic is... Mm. The ginger. Mm. Oh, and the ginger too. Mm, yummy. That stuff is smelling good. Oh, it's ready. Yeah, look at that. Alright, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to lower the heat a little bit. It is low. <laughs> it's already low. Here's what's going to go on right here. I'm going to add these shrimp and they're going to create. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Lay that right on that garlic. I'm going to lay that right there on that garlic and the oil. All that flavor. I'm going to slowly cook these shrimp in here like this. Just like that. I'm going to put this meat off to the side right there. Mm. Get rid of all this. Alright, I'll turn this back on, but I gotta really get that heat down low at this point. I don't want it to burn. There we go. Give me that light. Okay, here you go. Yeah. yeah. Better better see see this a little better. So yeah, we're gonna put that in the pan right here. Just like so. And that oil and that the garlic. Oh yeah. Ginger. That looks good. Need more heat. A little more heat. Turned it down too much. There we go. 
Anyway, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna flip them over yet and let them sit. You can tell this the crab leg meat looking stuff starting to turn pink. See, you don't want to cook it too long, but we got a sauce to come in here as well. You we got this sauce coming in. Uh -oh, here we go. And stick. There we go. Get them all lined up. This one's kind of laying on its side a little bit. Mm, mm, mm. All right, now. Let me turn that heat back down. Let me get this stuff turned over. There we go. Let me turn it over gently. I don't want it falling apart or nothing. Ooh, look at that. Mm. That look good. Yeah, it looks delicious. Yeah, it smells great. And it's making a little juice, you know, that shrimp. It's creating a little bit of a sauce, a little juice in here as well. Let me get this turned over. There we go. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. No, magnificent. That yeah, smells good. This one don't want to turn. It's got a little bit of a little bit of a weirdness to it. So I'm gonna get my tongers. Is the is the I'm uh, get my tongers the out. flame? The flame up. Flame's there. good. Yeah. Let's get this one turned over. There we go. That looks good. And this one turned over as well. There we go. Let's get them all like that. Now what I'm going to do... What I'm going to do now... Is add the um, sauce. I'm going to add that sauce. I'm going to let it, that flavor, that sauce, and that spiciness in there. Get in there with it. Let's stir it up really nice here. Just like that. I'm going to turn that way down low. I want to put a lid on it. I want to steam those things a little bit. Pop me a lid on there for a minute. And then we will then we'll come back in a minute and give them a little stir. They should be done. Almost forgot. I want to add some of this Mamacita's oyster sauce in here. I didn't add any of that stuff there. That's gotta happen. Look at that juice in there. It's going to be delicious. But that oyster sauce is tasty. I got two packages. I think I'm going to use them both. Why not? Let's go ahead and use both of these oyster sauces. And there we go. Let it simmer. All right. I'm putting the lid back on. Let them steam. Yummy. All right, guys, this is what we got. Mercy's putting her hair in it, and it's all <laughs> delicious. She's going to try a little piece of this uh, claw meat here. I tried to do a better presentation, but the things were starting to fall apart. So this is a really delicious, delicious sauce, actually. How is it? Good, puppy. Yeah? It's a good experiment for me. <laughs> it's a good experiment, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. Not too spicy? No, it's just perfect. I thought oh. that I thought that stuff tasted pretty good. That bean soybean type stuff. Oh, let me try. Mmm. Very good, huh? Damn it. Okay. There we go. We're gonna dig into this. Mm -hmm. Mercy also made some ceviche from the shrimp that we bought at the market. I know you guys seen that being made before, so didn't didn't want to 
bore you with another ceviche recipe, but if, you, if you're wondering how she makes this ceviche, uh, there are past videos that we've done about the ceviche. So yeah, we've got some ceviche cooked in lime juice here. To do this right, you don't cook it. You don't cook the shrimp. You, put, you let it cook in the, in the lime juice. And it's been sitting in there for a couple hours, chilled now. So we've got shrimp and shrimp. Double shrimp night. Mm -mm -mm. Seafood night. <laughs> yeah, seafood and we eat it. We see it and eat it. That's our seafood. Every bit of food we see, we eat. <laughs> mm. That is good. I don't know what the name of that stuff is, but that actually made it. Let me get that container. If I have any, uh, I know I got a couple of Korean uh, subscribers. Let me know what this is. There's not a word of English on here. And I took a chance because it wasn't red. They had a red one. It's still got a little hint of spice to it. Not as much as I'd like, but I can always throw some hot sauce on it. But yeah, let me know what this stuff is right here. All right, we're going to dig in. This stuff is calling my name. See you after dinner. See ya. <laughs>